Now from the news team that's covering the Carolinas, this is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 6. Ray Carruth, the former Carolina Panther, dazed from freedom after conspiring to kill his pregnant girlfriend and unborn son. Ray, this is Erica Bryant with Channel 9. He's opening up in an interview that you'll see only on Channel 9. I just wanted him to see his father face to face. New at 6, what Carruth told me he hopes for one day for the son who survived. I wanted him to know that I do want to be there, that I do love him. Caruth is set to be released in four days, and I got a phone call from him to talk about what's next. I'm Erica Bryant. And I'm Paul Boyd. The former NFL star has spent more than 18 years in prison for a plot to murder his then pregnant girlfriend, Sharika Adams, and their unborn son. Adams died a month after that shooting, but her son, Chancellor Lee, lived. Caruth spoke to me about Chancellor, what he wants to say to him, and what he hopes for his life. Chancellor Lee Adams will be 19 years old next month. Born with cerebral palsy because of the shooting that killed his mother, he struggles every day, but still is almost always smiling. His father hasn't seen Chancellor since he was very young, but Ray Carruth told me in a phone interview from prison that he wants that to change. Whatever it took for me to be a part of Chancellor's life to make things right with him, I was and still am willing to do. He will never have his mother in his life. Uh, right or wrong, he still has the opportunity to have me in his life. Chancellor has been raised by Sandra Adams, his maternal grandmother. In the past, she's told me that she is open with her grandson, but has never gone into detail with him about Carruth's crime. I tell Chancellor that his father uh, did a terrible thing, yeah. and he's uh, away now. Now, Carruth says he hopes they can come together. I've apologized to Ms. Adams for the loss of her daughter and, and taken responsibility for what happened. I don't want to harm Ms. Adams. I, I guess, honestly, I just want to truly be forgiven. I'd love to have the opportunity to make things right with her and Chancellor. You said that you wanted to contribute um, to Chancellor Lee's life. Does that also mean financially? Absolutely. Whatever I can do for my son, I will. Um, I don't feel like the burden should be Miss Adams alone or even the kind individuals who have aided her and, and assisted her in helping care for my son. Uh, that's still my responsibility. For as long as I'm alive, it's my responsibility to help take care of my son, whether I'm allowed to have a relationship or not.